and we have question number eight okay so this is going to be again a little bit of lengthier compared to the previous one so this is black color i'll go with blue blue yeah i'll go with blue so one way to factor a trinomial such as x square minus 2x minus 3 is to assign the value assign a value such as 10 to x and evaluate the expression and then i'll just read the question instead of writing it so evaluate the expression so they have taken x as 10 and they have factorized the equation find the factor so that x is equal to 10 so a factorization of 77 is given by 7 into 11 Six, since x is equal to 10 we have 7 equal to x minus 3 and 11 equal to x plus 1 yeah correct so multiply to see if that uh, so to see if x minus 3 plus x plus 1 uh, times x plus 1 is x square minus 2x plus minus 3 i'll just go for the multiplication x minus 3 x plus 1 this will be x square and this will be minus 3x plus 1x this will be minus 2x and this will be minus of 3 so this yeah so this method is correct now try this method to factor x square minus 2x minus 8 why it is difficult to find the correct factors for this trinomial using this method okay so we have to take x as 10 x will be 10 here and the equation given uh, to us is x square minus 2x minus 8 and 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 so first we need to keep the value of x as 10 so let us do that so for x equal to 10 this will be 100 minus 20 minus 8 100 minus 20 will be 80 this will be 72 and it was 77 then they uh, factorize it so i'll just factor 72 this will be um, two times 36 two times 18 two times 9 3 times 3 3 times 1 uh 36 then 36 half is 18 yep then half is 9 then yep so the factors for the so the possible combinations of factors will be um two twos of let's say two times this will be two twos of four four threes are twelve so two times 36 then we have um four times eighteen um then we have six times nine then we have uh, uh two two no no not six times two twos are four four twos are eight eight times nine eight times nine and then we have eight threes are twenty four times three now following this procedure i'll just uh, write this so this will be my x was 10 so this will be x plus uh, 20 yeah x plus 26 times x minus 8 this will be x uh, um, minus 6 times x plus 8 i think that we can uh, further write i just i'll don't i'll not do that so this will be x minus 2 times x minus 1 and this will be x plus uh, 14 times x minus 7 
now I'll multiply this and check whether I'm getting this equation or not so this will be x square this will be minus 8 plus 26 uh, this 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 is this is going to work going to work because this will be 6 and 2 this will be 18 and we do not have 18 so first will not work now this will be x square minus and plus 8 will be minus 2 okay so there are hopes and minus 2x and minus 6 times 8 6 8 of 48 now this is also not going to work this is x square minus minus this will be 3x nope this will not work i i have skipped some factors i think factors was 8 times 9 i have this 4 times 18 oh yeah i have this 24 times 3 yep i have this 12 times 6 yeah there is one more possible combination of 12 times 6 and uh, 1 times 72 2 times 36 I have done so yeah I'll just check for this also so this will be x square minus 7 plus 14 will be minus 7 uh, plus 7 x again I need minus 2 x here so this will be x plus 2 x minus 4 I think that this will work this will work yeah so this will be x square then this will be um, plus 4 minus 4 plus 2 will be minus 2x and 2 times minus 4 will be minus 8 yeah so for uh, the combination of 12 and 6 this will get the solution so same solution is given here also so x my x plus 2 x minus 4 now the thing is that this procedure is very much lengthy like we uh, we already saw that if we miss some factors and hope uh, like touch wood uh, this shouldn't happen that but if uh, the factor which we missed was the solution of the uh, this uh, whole uh, question then we would just waste our time so that is why this procedure is very lengthy and people don't follow this procedure so uh, here also it is given that performing this method is too long especially if we encounter uh, numbers with multiple possible factorizations we need to check a lot of possibilities and it is more prone to error so yeah true um, i'll not check for one times 72 because it will not work so again solution given here is correct and good work solution is correct yep. so that is all for today's session so if you like this session then please do hit the like button and subscribe also and you can hit the bell icon so that you will be always updated for our next live streams and if you have any questions to submit or if you want any help or if you want your tutoring help then you can check the links in the description below this was devansh for the senior tutorial one class and i hope to see you soon in my next stream so till then bye